or just stay in front of it. Hey guys, we are live again on the right page. I am so sorry we went live on the wrong page. So, super duper sorry guys. We are going to catch us back up. Good morning, good morning. Thanks guys, alrighty, it's Mrs. Parker here again. So, so sorry. Wrong page, wrong page, wrong page. Blonde moment, guys. It's too early in the morning. Okay, so we're going to catch you up. For those of you who have already drawn part of your Pegasus, that is cool. For the rest of you, we are going to catch you all up. All right, guys, so let's get with the program. Okay, so... If you have your drawing guide in front of you, we are going to be working from this. Okay, so we have, um, we're going to be drawing the structure. So the first thing I want you to do is to start by drawing a nice circle with a Pegasus head at the top. Okay, so let's see if we can get that going. Then off the head, we're going to draw a rectangle. Good morning to those of you finding us. Thank you, thank you guys. Yep, you need to, hello again, Amelia, thank you. I had a blonde moment this morning, went live on my, on my, on my art page and not on the bubbles page. Crazy, crazy. So thank you for those jumping on over here. Let's start again, and we're going to do it right. Coolio, guys. Okay. Then we're going to, we've got our circle for our head. We have our mouth coming off. Then we're going to come in, and we're going to put a nice curve coming through. Like a long curvy sausage sausage shape. So we've got the, the bottom or the belly of the Pegasus coming through here, up through the behind, and up along the back, connecting nice up to the head. At the moment it kind of looks like a duck, doesn't it? Coolio, yeah, Amelia, you're saying <laughs> you're catching on to my lingo when I'm always saying coolio, right? Hello, hello, thank you to all of you jumping on over here. Alrighty. Off the bottom, are we ready? We're going to pop some legs on. So we will pop on a nice leg here. So that kind of is like an up and a down. It's kind of like a mountain shape. And then we've got one coming through the back. a little hoof on top like that okay good we good coolio <laughs> you're mocking me from saying coolio yeah right i was waiting for the others to catch up because i I went from one page to the other. If you have the drawing guide in front of you, if you are five or six years old or younger, the drawing guide will be really, really helpful for you. And you can even trace it if you want to today, all right? Because drawing a Pegasus or drawing a horse is a little bit tricky because it has a few more shapes and things as well. Okay. All right. So we've got our first leg. The second one goes underneath, like so. So it's a bit of a cross and a down with a little, with a little hoof or foot, foot of the Pegasus underneath there. 
All right, then we've got some down the bottom. So we come on an angle, a little angle the other way. Coolio, Ava. All right, so I'm just going to do that's this whole structure part first. So I'll wait for you guys to catch up on that. all concentrating really, really well this morning. <laughs> you good? Does Coolio mean you're ready to move on to the next thing? Yeah? Ava, are you good? Cool, cool, cool. Melia, you're good. You guys have been very patient with me today. Okay, love hearts all around. Cool. All right, now we are going to pop in some of the other details like the wings and the tail and all that kind of stuff. So let's then, over on this part, I want you to pop, draw in one ear for me on one side on the left. Like so. It's kind of like a... a um, Oh, a leaf or a petal shape and then we'll do another one over here and then we're going to put a little bit of here that goes in front of that ear you're good Jesse cool thank you and then we'll rub that out so we can see that there Okay, then we've got this beautiful mane of hair coming up. And then I'm just going to put another little bit underneath. You can draw your hair however you like, so long as it comes, comes down the back there. So you've got an ear. You can put another little half one in there for the inside of the ear. We've got an ear over here, and then we've got a nice little bit of hair coming through. I'll let you catch up with that. So going through, popping in the ears. Another ear over here. A little bit of hair, the front of the mane, that ears behind, and then you've got some nice long hair coming down the back of the Pegasus. And you can draw that however you want. You can draw, flick it up and make it curly. You can draw it straight. We're good? Okay. Now what I want you to do is we're going to try and we're going to pop the wings on. All right, so come here, find a little spot like this that's kind of just below where the mane is. And then I want you to come up and draw some wings. Like that. 
That's the first one. So you can do them curly. You can do it spiky. If you want to, it's totally up to you how you want to do your wings. I like mine with a little bit of a curve, but sometimes I think it looks really cool with a pointy bit on the end as well. That's the first one, then you're going to keep going. So that you can come right down. And then it finishes just underneath there where you've done the mane of the body. Okay, how are we going? We've got the wings in. I'll give you a couple of minutes to get that going. Then will you want to put a towel off. Again, you can do your towel however you want. You can do it like this if you wanted. Okay, with a bit more of a jagged edge. Or you can do it bigger, a bit more curvy and fluffy. Like so, coming in. Totally depends how you want to draw your towel in there. Go ahead and pop your towel in. Cool. Jessie's done. Fantastic. Alrighty. Okay, so we've got our wings drawn in. Yeah, we've got our wings. We've got our tail popped in down the bottom. Then all we need to do is go back to our head. We need to draw in the rest of the mouth. So we're going to just go in half. Up that rectangle and then make the little bit a little bit smaller underneath so we've now got a little mouthpiece on here and then we're going to pop a little nostril there like so coolio all right now we need to pop the eye on so we can draw a little half circles Draw a circle inside, colour it in, but remember we always leave a white, a white little dot inside that eye, so it makes it look more realistic. And then if you want to, I like to put a few little eyelashes off mine, to make it look a little bit more pretty. And that's about the base of it, guys. We're going to go back over this in a marker soon. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to catch up. Cool, 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 cool. We're good, we're good. You guys are awesome. Speedy Gonzalez. Fantastic. Yours is smiling. <laughs> that's cool, Jesse. Cool. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm going to grab my marker pen and I'm going to go over all of the lines before we colour in. Alright, so you can keep working on yours. If I draw over mine in black marker, you're going to be able to see it a lot clearer on your side. The mane of the hair that comes down. Big wings that we draw on.
one leg's in front, one leg's behind. You go Navigas with marker two, Ava, fantastic. So once you're ready, grab a marker and go over it before we start to colour it in. There we have our structure. Jesse, you're up to that too. Awesome. You guys are great. Catching up. This must be my students who have been practicing, eh? See how it helps when you keep practicing your drawing skills? You can go faster. Well done. Oops. I hope that doesn't smudge too much. Then I'm just going to rub out some of my pencil marks. Or I go and colour it in with my watercolour pencil because once we put watercolours on top, what happens is if you haven't rubbed out your pencil, all of your pencil will be showing and that's not going to be cool. moment you see you can go as fast or slow as you want so cool that's all right if you've just joined in you can come back and you can watch a replay as well and you can catch up. All right. Okay, you guys can keep drawing. All right, we've got the picture here that you can work from. So I'm not going to do any more drawing now, so it's not going to be too fast. I'm just going to start to colour it in and show you some ideas. Okay, and when I've finished, I'm going to post the video so you can come back and watch it. Okay, because you probably won't get it done at the same time as me, but that's okay. As long as you get the shape drawn in, then you'll be fine and you can finish it after we finish with the video. So I've got my yummy yummy watercolours here that I like to use all the time. I'm going to colour my Pegasus in uh, like a purple colour and I'm going to show you how we can do it so that it looks like it's darker on the outside and lighter on the middle. So if I get my brush wet and get some nice paint onto my brush and then I'm going to come around to start with I'm going to come around the outsides, the outsides of my Pegasus. So see I'm going around like the bottom, the bottom of the belly. Oops. And then I'm going to go the other side. Coming over on the other side, the nice purple. And then, rather than putting any more paint on my brush, I'm going to use my water 
and I'm going to blend it so it goes lighter in the middle. So then it's going to look like it's more round. Can you start to see? You can start to see that on the picture there, can't you? And I'm doing the same on the legs. So I'm going around the legs, darker on the outside. And then I'm going to go a little bit lighter in the middle. Now you, of course, you don't have to colour your one in purple. You can do your Pegasus whatever colour or colours you want. You can do it more than one colour. So. Okay, who can tell me who's on to, um, who's on to colouring theirs in now? Give me a thumbs up if you're colouring yours in. You're all concentrating, aren't you? All concentrating, which is great. Right, Ava, you're colouring yours in. Jesse, you're colouring yours in. Awesome, awesome. Cool, guys. Fantastic. Amelia and Henry, cool. Well done, guys. No, that's all right. You can keep drawing yours in. You can colour it in after, after the video finishes. Colour it in and then you can share your work with me. This is probably the trickiest one we've done. Ashveen, you're colouring yours in. Cool. Abby isn't quite. That's all right. Cool. You guys are great. So you're painting and concentrating. What colour are we painting ours? I to colour on that leg, don't I? She likes the painting technique. Cool. She can come back and keep working on hers when she's finished. Dark around the outsides. A little bit tricky when the area is a little bit smaller, but just do the best you can. Sometimes it's good if you have a smaller brush, that helps. Do you see you're doing purple as well? Cool. Yellow. Excellent, Ava. Yours is a mess. That's all right. You can keep practicing. You can start a new one. You can always come back and watch a video and try again. And when you can watch the replay, you can pause it, so I won't be going too fast. You can make me stop. Purple, pink, and blues. Nice. Nearly is laughing at me. Okay, now I'm going to go on to my wings. While I've still got purple on my brush, I'm going to do a few different colours on my wings. So I'm going to do a purple in one part. Up top here. And then I'm going to 
go a little bit lighter again with my water. Wash it through. And then I'm going to pop in some blue. Pink. We've got a few pink pegasuses. Pegasuses? Is that a word? I don't know. I don't know. You're, you're blending or blending? You're blending, do you see? Fantastic. You guys are learning some new skills, eh? And then I'm going to put it into a green. Pick a side, maybe. Pick a side, it could be. Pick a sisters doesn't sound right, does it? We'll go pick a side. That's what Amelia said. So if it's wrong, we can just blame her. All right, so we're blending through to our green, green and blue and purple on the wings. This is why watercolors are lots and lots of fun. Cool. You guys have been Googling in the dictionary for me, have you? All right, I'm going to put some pink in my wing at the top. Let's do something a little bit more outrageous out here, yeah? For all my pink fans. Oh boy, look at that. Pink and purple, huh? Pink and purple. We are nearly there. <laughs> Oh, let's put a touch of pink over on that side. Alrighty, and the last thing I'm going to colour is the hair, or the mane and the tail. And I'm going to do that like a nice, um, nice yellow. Your cat is sitting on you. Your cat sitting on you. Is, is your cat helping you draw? Hope the cat's helping, or is the cat watching the video? So I'm going to go around the outsides of my shape with my darker colour, with lots of paint on my brush. She's making it worse. <laughs> oh, so the cat's not helping. All right. Then we'll lighten it. I didn't colour the ears in. To go back and fix that. Yeah, Avi, your cat's helping. <laughs> it looks nice. Oh, thank you. All right, we need to fix the ears up though, don't we? Because I realise I've, I've, I haven't done the ears. I'm going to put the ears in. And one over there. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of like a, a water wash sort of background with some blue. 
I'm going to come in, make it look like this, like a mystical kind of sky in the background. Put some drips in because my paper is hanging up, so that'll work. I love painting drips. Some drips going down there. It's a lot easier to do drips when you're painting is uh, vertical or with your pictures up on the wall but if you're going to do that make sure you have something on your wall so that the um, water doesn't run on on the on your mum and dad's wall right you don't have to rub that all that paint off my wall before I get told off your cat's called Oreo so whenever I'm hungry she makes me feel like eating Oreos <laughs> why did you call your cat Oreo is that your favorite biscuit Now, of course, you don't have to do blue on your background. You don't have to do like a sky scene. You could do a night scene. You could do even really, really bright colors. You could do whatever you like. See, that's coming off the back there. A little bit more blue there. So I put a lot of paint on my brush and pop it on. Then we clean off our brush and we just use water to blend it out. Okay. Your watercolors. Oh boy, oh boy. We finally got there, guys. Bit of a rough start this morning. Went live on the wrong page. But we are here now. Most of us are colouring in, aren't we? Now I'm going to make a bit of noise, guys. I am going to put the hairdryer on so I can dry it because I just want to show you one, one more little cool trick that you can do to make your Pegasus rock even cooler. Cooler. -er. Okay, so block your ears, the hair dryer is going on. your ears or turn the sound down either or now what I'm going to do is I've got my little color pencil here I'm going to color in or to shade just back on top of it now if you're going to do this on top of your watercolor make sure that your paper is really really dry because if it is wet it is going to rip your paper okay and you don't want that to happen so remember how I told you to go dark around the outsides when you were doing the watercolor and we came light to dark again what we can then do is we can even get a colour that's similar to the colour you painted in yours. So if you painted in pink, you could get a pink in there. I should name it. Justice, you can name it, name it for me then. 
and then come lighter. So we're just doing a little bit of shading. Around the base to come through lighter. You can see how that makes it look a little bit stronger and this is what I call jazzing it up. So I teach my students this who are inside my course. They learn how to do this to their work. It just makes their work a little bit stronger. How's that looking guys? Am I going to pass? Toothpaste unicorn. Why would you call it toothpaste unicorn Ashby? You're funny. You are funny Ashby. Right. And we just got to do a little bit on the leg. Piggy. We'll name it Piggy. Okay, guys. There we have it. Okay, jazzy. Jazzy, jazzy. Jazzy. All right, kiddos. So here is our flying Pegasus from today. So we've drawn up the structure. Remember we followed from the drawing guide. Then we have gone and we've painted it all in using watercolors. Um, we have done, I'm leaving them white, Amelia, I like them white. Um, which is like my example, like this one. I like leaving the hooves white. Okay. Then we've gone in and we've dried it off. And then we've gone and put some color pencil on top to make it more rounded. So you can play around, you can do some really, really cool things with yours. You can do some different types of wings, you can do different types of tails, whatever tickles your fancy guys. So thank you so much for joining us today. If you haven't finished, that's okay. You take your time, finish yours off, keep practicing, and then remember to share your work in this post below, okay? What lesson tomorrow? There is no lesson tomorrow. Who's asking me if there is no lesson tomorrow? There's no lesson tomorrow. Okay, so thanks guys. Share your work below. It's a long weekend today, so if you want to do some more art, um, some more drawing, okay, you can go on to our website and there's a whole lot of free tutorials on there as well. Okay, there's about 20 of them. So you can have plenty, plenty of time. But remember to share your work with me, kids. Have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you sometime soon. Alrighty, bye-bye.